they're um, I think they're French. Hand painted yep. bone china. Oh, so vibrant and they're pretty. Fine crystal yep. stemware and quality silver cutlery. Remains of a life well led, a long and elegant life, a musical and artistic life that with its passing seems to take with it a fading era. It is the end of an era in a way because all of these grand beautiful things people just don't seem to treasure quite so much these days. They have a different style. And so she would design and... Well, and this one I think, this one's bought. Marcia Boyd is here in her mother's house in Nanaimo sorting through a lifetime of treasure. And uh, that was a very pretty elegant... Her mother, uh, Eloise uh, Jackson, trained in classical piano at the Toronto Conservatory of Music as a young woman. One of her prized possessions, and she had many, was this 1943 Steinway Concert Grand. It was a performance piano at the Steinway Hall in New York. Oscar Peterson played it. And so did Eloise, every day, until she died earlier this year at the age of 96. And people would say to her, are you still playing the piano? And she'd say, yes, for my own amazement and amusement. <laughs> and so she did do it every day. But there were years spent playing for the enjoyment and amazement of others at Pierre's in Calgary and the 400 Club and the Owl's Nest, then the Banff Springs Hotel and then the Four Seasons in Vancouver. She was a teacher by day and an elegant performer by night. It was a salvation and a savior for her too in times of challenge. It was you were able to sit down and play the piano and I think that took you to another level into a different world. Yeah, so it was an, an escape in a way too. It was just the women growing up, Eloise and Marcia and her sister, who's also passed. Marcia says she remembers falling asleep as a young child to the sound of this piano. These are Waterford, beautiful set of red wine, white wine. But those cherries. sounds are only a memory now. Marcia has Except taken a few select well. treasures from her mother's house. The rest are being sold, including the centerpiece of her mother's life. Eloise turned to pottery once she settled in Nanaimo, working with a Tozan kiln at Malaspina. She was also a patron of the theater, and for Marcia, the beautiful things left behind are reminders of a lady, the likes of which are becoming more and more rare. It's sad, but it's also beautiful uh, because it shows an accumulation of, of her life and her passion, and uh, it is going to be sad. It will be sad. For Marcia, the beautiful things left by her mother are her legacy, and seeing that they are properly cared for is her way of showing respect. In Nanaimo, I'm Kate Bergen.